Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Julia at Entrusted Jewels and I'm so excited that you decided to join me today. You already know what I do. I bring you great job opportunities that I run across. Now before we begin, please hit that subscribe button. I cannot stress that enough because I would hate for you to miss out on any future videos that I post in the future, okay? So hit that subscribe button. It only takes a second. Now, Netflix is looking for an external support engineer. I see support, the external support engineer, you'll be responsible for helping and supporting external content creations team that uses the tools provided by the internal development team. Okay. They are the bridge between the content teams and the tools engineer team. They are the first point of contact when the content team runs into issues with tools and filters issues and feedback to the tools team. Now, please don't let the title run you away from applying for this position. As you can see, you are basically the mediator between the content teams and the tool engineer team. So to me, it puts me in the mind of a person that has worked in a call center for like Verizon, AT&T, any help desk support specialist, any IT support specialist that basically handles ticketing, any issues, problems. This is what the external support engineer does. Okay. So let's go more in detail about the responsibilities of this particular position. You will provide technical support to content and external teams in regards to the use of content tools, create referencing material and provide training to get external teams up to speed with the tool set solve and debug possible issues with tools and workflows to quickly resolve issues for users, escalate, escalate more complex and problematic issues to the tools and development team, and work with production to track these issues in JIRA, advocate and tool workflow improvements and suggestions from external teams, partner with other engineers to develop tools and processes that improve efficiency and quality, guide and lead cross-disciplinary dollar law to drive free features from initial con concepts to completion, exemplify reliability, accountability, and professionalism in all work-related inter interactions. Now, Jira is only a tracking system software. So if you're not familiar with this particular software, most definitely to update your resume or broaden your horizon, do some research on it. Do some, there's also some free courses you can take in this particular, for this particular software. So like I said, don't run away from it. It's only a software that is used to track ticketing. Okay. So to Go more in detail about the skills and abilities for this particular position. You will have to have the ability to read and understand C sharp codes. Now, C sharp codes is more of for engineers. I don't think that if you don't have any experience in it or don't, I'm not familiar with it, it will kind of X you out of being qualified for the position. But like I said before, there are courses out there free resources that you can take to educate yourself on C sharp code codes. You have to have good written and verbal communication, including work or working and external partners, have a positive attitude and ability, the ability to receive and provide objective and constructive feedback, excellent organization skills, self-motivating, able to prioritize and manage numerous requests all the time. Okay. Now, the education and experience, they did put on here that they would like someone that has a computer science or related degree or equivalent work experience. So, that does not mean that you have to have a degree. It means that if you have any work experience in this particular field, you qualify for this position. So, like I said before, don't run from the title, don't run from the experience. Just make sure that you have your resume matches your skills and ability to apply for this particular position. You will have to have experience supporting a live service or tool 
environment. Like I said, that's really pretty much a call center using 3D game and tool development experience. I'm not really familiar with this particular um, term. So like I said, if you wanted to research it, most definitely do your own research on it and, you know, broaden your resume. Um, as stated before, you will need experience with Jira, Confluence, or other de defect tracking systems. Okay, I'm going to say that again. You would just need experience with Jira, Confluence, or other deflect tracking software. iOS and Android mobile development experience. Five years of experience in delivering production, live co level code, and professionalism environment. Okay? So, the core hours for this position is from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. CST time. Please take in consideration the time zone that you're residing in. So if you're in the Eastern time zone, this position would be from 11 to 7. Those are the core hours. And they stress that because they need you to be available for meetings during those times. So if you apply for this position, please take in consideration which time zone you reside in. Now you may have other job duties that to perform while working for the company and the salary range for this particular position is $150,000 to $325,000 a year. That is why I told y'all do not let the title run you away from applying for this position. Like even if you don't meet all the qualifications, the base pay for this position is $150,000 a year. That is good. Okay. And with the particular application is very basic. You don't have to answer any questions before you basically get a potential call for an interview. Very simple application process. I did look up some uh I did look up some health insurance. They do offer great benefits for as Netflix. They do offer stipends for um travel. You also get um health benefits, but it's through a third party because they say they have so many different Netflix in so many different countries. So whatever country you reside in, you will be offered the insurance package that is offered within your country, state, location, etc. Okay. Now I did go in detail about some potential resume ideas. I put that if, if it was me, I would put that I was highly skilled and a dedicated external support engineer with X years of experience providing technical assistance and troubleshooting to customers. I adapt in identifying and resolving complex technical issues, delivering ex ex exceptional customer service and ensuring system performance, seeking a challenging position where I can utilize my technical expertise to support clients and contribute to the success of the organization. Okay. Now, some of the skills I would have notated is technical troubleshooting, customer support and communication, system maintenance and upgrades, net network configuration and administration, hardware and software installation, um, documentation, reporting, problem solving abil abilities, and team collaboration and leadership. For as the actual work experience, I would have said that I provide technical support to external clients via phone, email, and remote access tools. I'm able to diagnose and resolve complex hardware and software issues, ensuring timely and effective problem resolution. I collaborate with cross-functioning teams, including developers and network engineers, to address customer concerns and enhance system functions. I conduct system installations, upgrades, maintenance tasks, performance, reliability, create and maintain detailed documentation to support activities, including troubleshooting step, resolution, and best practices. Other things that I would have put in my in my experience portion of my resume, um, I would assist customers in resolving technical issues through phone, email, chat, and support. It's pretty much like a repeat of everything. And one question that I thought would be good to answer for as 
if it was became a possible interviewing question, would be, how do you handle complex technical problems that require in-depth investigation and analysts? Okay, can you provide an example of a challenging issue you can encounter and how you resolved it? Now, when answering this question, I will respond with when prioritizing support requests and managing time effectively to meet several level agreements, which is abbreviated SLAS, an external support engineer can follow the can, will follow the following strategies. I would assess and evaluate the severity of the support requests. Follow the SAL guidelines, communicate with my customers effectively. I would categorize the support requests based on the nature of the urgency. I will utilize the tracking systems, collaborate and delegate with my team, manage time management, and review and update continuously with the team on the progress and maintain an open line of communication. By using these strategies, I can effectively prioritize support requests and manage their time and meet the SLA, ensuring prompt and satisfactory resolutions for the customers. Now, as you all know, these jobs are posted today and taken down tomorrow. I hope me going over some of the resume details and answering one of the possible interviewing questions to help you guys. Um, like I said, if you're interested in a partic this particular position, please apply today. They are put up today, taken down tomorrow, depending on how many applicants th they get. It's totally, totally up to the Netflix. And if you have any other job requests, please send me please notate in the comment section. The link for this position will be notated in the descriptive box. Like always, please like and share, and I will see you guys next time.